Welcome to Ridge Eye. I'm Tim, and today on Ramblings, Grandma Carol told me she saw someone driving up the Ridge Road while she was out walking the dogs. Nobody should be driving up the Ridge Road. Let's go find out what's going on. Now, these tracks right here are from me moving the uh, trailer. Me and Morgan had to take the trailer yesterday, so that's that's not it. Uh, I do see, uh, oh, whoa, oh. what is this? That is not my tracks. <laughs> what is this? Someone went off the side of the road right there. Oh, that's making me mad. Okay. I, we get FedEx deliveries, UPS and all that, but they we, we got a box at the corner for them to drop it off or they go to Grandma Carol's, but I don't know why the heck they would be coming up here. Whoa. What the? No way. You gotta be kidding me. Gosh, what the, <sighs> look at my gravel road. What the heck? What the heck? Oh my gosh, look over here. They got stuck. They got stuck. They came up here and uh, oh my gosh. In, uh, in my, oh my gosh. Even a footprint. Okay. I can't see no, can't see anything. Yeah, they drove right through there. I mean, the footprint right there too. And over here. What the heck? Oh my gosh. What, what is this? What is this? Oh, they were trying to use sticks and cardboard to get out. Oh my, look at my grass. You can see the, oh, you can see the grass starting to grow and they just tore it all up. They're lucky that this, all the roots and stuff were right here by this big tree mountain. Look at the grass. They were just messing all the grass up. That is horrendous. Look, I'm gonna see this here. Yep, oh, that's terrible. Hey, whose uh, who's information is this right here? Let's see. Let me pull this out and make sure it's not mine. <laughs> All right, this was sent by, oh no. They went over and got part of our uh, RL carrier's information. That's the RL car carrier information for my carport over there. They, they went and grabbed this box off that uh, crate over there to use to uh, try to get themselves out. This is horrendous. And I can't fix this right now. We've got rain coming the next three days. <sighs> yeah, I'll have to, uh, smooth that out i don't want to use a box blade on that because that would just tear up all my grass i might just drive over it back and forth smoothing it out but this right here th there's no gravel right there anymore they basically created a a ditch i'm gonna have to get the tractor and uh i might and just smooth that out with the box blade i gotta do that look at the sticks they use to try to get out this is crazy people this is what oh this is what makes me so mad oh my goodness look at that all oh my good gravel took it all the way down to the dirt you can see that it was it was four to six inches deep <sighs> all right let me uh let me get that stuff over here you you are getting a sneak peek of the grass so look at that i had not planned on showing that just yet oh <sighs> the tree mountain <laughs> that is huge isn't it Oh my gosh. Okay, guys, I'm just a little bit mad right now. What do you mean? I'm not just a little bit mad, I'm a lot mad. Okay, look at the grass. That is beautiful grass. Now that's all fescue right there. There's hardly any of the clover. I didn't put much of the clover right around the house right there. And look, yes, me and Morgan didn't get the carport uh, unboxed yet because uh, all the rain. I mean, it's just pure mud out here. Look at this. I can't walk that way. Oh, it's so muddy. But look at all the grass coming in. You can see 
grass, it's, I don't know if it's picking up on the, on the camera, but it is just all a sea of green over there. Here's over by the well. And you can see this got fescue and it's got clover mixed in with it. And then look over here at the side of the, uh, the washout, how well the grass is coming in over here. And you guys are getting a huge sneak peek. Look at this. This is what I'm super proud of. Oh, man, I'm, I'm shaking. <laughs> I'm shaking. <sighs> Look at that grass, guys. That is, this is the area that washed out so bad, you know, all the big furrows. And it is, you can see the straw in there, and it is just doing exactly what it's supposed to do. And you can see a sea of green over there. I see a green right there. I see a green back there. It's coming in. We are getting rain. We are getting rain every single day. Um, makes it pretty tough to get things built, that's for sure. But uh, I do definitely need it for the grass. And um, I'm going to call Monday and go see about uh, visiting my shed. And it should be hopefully being delivered next week. My powerhouse shed that's going to go right there. And that's why, ooh, I'm stepping in the mud. Oh, super muddy, super muddy. That is, oh, that makes me so mad right there. All right, we gotta, we gotta keep this from happening again, all right? Let's do this. While, while I got you on the video today, we're gonna keep this from happening again. Oh, man, they, they ruddered it up up here, too. That must have been a big truck. She said it was a big white truck. Must have been a big FedEx truck. Because we've been, I've had big trucks up here, and they haven't messed this road up at all. And look at that. Oh, that makes me so mad. So mad. Oh, oh, look at that. All right, I can fix this. I can fix this. Let me get these sticks thrown out of here. Yeah, using them to get themselves unstuck. There we are. All right, let's prevent this from happening again. Let me get that one out of the way. Oh, it's not what I wanted to wake up to this morning and have to do this. Grandma Carol said, I saw a big truck going up there. She's out walking the dogs and, oh, that makes you so mad. All right. Now, I'm not turning around. I'm gonna back out, but I do have a plan. How we can prevent them from coming back up here. Man, I'm so mad. Um, Morgan and I, Morgan's gonna be here for a few days. Uh, Jen was with her daughter last night, Lauren. See, why couldn't they just back down, back down the road like I'm doing? This is easy. This is not an issue. <laughs> if I can do it talking to you, they could have done it with backup cameras and all the other stuff they got. That's not an issue, right? All right, make sure I'm staying on the road myself. <laughs> all right. But, yeah, so Jen Jen had her daughter Lauren come over, so she stayed with her last night. William Morgan went and saw the new Deadpool movie, uh, Wolverine. That was so awesome, guys. That was so awesome. What I'm gonna do is these are buckets of rabbit poo. Ooh. And I'm gonna put them back here. Ugh. And I'm gonna put those across the road so anybody else trying to come up here won't. They'll have to go through the mud and dirt to get around. And if they see a blockade like that, they, sh they should definitely not, not drive up drive in my driveway and mess. Look at this. Look at that right there that they did. That is terrible. All right, three. Let me get one more. This is all uh, ridge gold here, guys. Rabbit poo. I think Uncle Sonny wants some of this. But I got another. Oh, he's got four buckets right there. But he'll be fine with that. Let me get back up here. Sorry guys, this is a little crazy of a video today. Not what I wanted to do a rambling on, that's for sure. Oh, I gotta get back on the road, was I? Let me hold you this arm. There we go. Now I can now I can see it. I got a mirror right here. I can see what I'm doing on my backup mirror. Why couldn't they have just backed up the way everybody else does? And when I come up here and it's as muddy it is, I just, I just, I, I matter of fact, I've been up in the F-250 before, the Beast. And all I do is I just back down. Now, typically, I don't, I, see, I've, only, I've only had the Beast up there one time. Um, but I take the Kubota up there all the time, and when it's super muddy, I just back, back down. Get to the grassy area and then turn around. 
All that stuff just make you so mad. All right. Once we get down to this area here, I will uh, show you what we're going to do with it. Woo! Get back up here. There we are. Man, I'm so mad. Um, I will show you before I leave something me and Morgan did. Give you some more beans spilling. Some uh, letting you know the what's going on before the main videos come out on Ridge Life. Oh, guys, I gotta stop real quick. I've got a video coming out on Ridge Life today, or I'm sorry, tomorrow, Sunday. It's a premiere. It is whoo, big dozer work and fire. Oh my goodness. Dozer work and fire. You're like, Tim, the dozer's already been gone. Nope, nope. You just thought the dozer was gone. All right, man. Let me get up here. There we are. So what I'm gonna do... All right. So we have got right here in the... Uh, this goes to Grandma Carol's. And uh, that goes up to the ridge. We have got a box right here that says, please place packages in box. Amazon, FedEx, US, UPS, United States Postal Service, and UPS. It is right in the entryway. Right there is the entryway. People drive up in their delivery trucks. They see this box. They should put it there. So, sometimes they go up that way, and they see Nero, and they go, ah, and they get scared. They should never, ever go up that way. So what I'm going to do today, oh my goodness, makes me so mad. Let's get these buckets. I could get two at a time if I, if I had an extra hand, but you're my extra hand. All right, I'm going to put it right across this. I did get some mud there. That was my mud right there. Going back up. Let's see, I'll put one right there. I got four of them. I'll go right across. Oh my goodness. Not, not what I wanted to do today. I can't wait to show you some stuff I got going on. Though. Oh, that's heavy. Rabbit poo, rabbit poo. This is uh, some fermented rabbit poo. <laughs> All right. Two. Yeah, I'm across there. How is y'all's weekend going? Hopefully better than mine. Actually, I can't say that. I have actually Morgan here. Uh, Jin Jin getting to be with her daughter. Jin Jin's coming over. Uh, I'm, ooh, I'm getting mud on me. Ginger's coming over today, I think, uh, after lo after her daughter leaves. All right, let me move that one a little bit farther over. Put this one right there. That one there. That one there. One more. Yeah, so Ginger will be on her way over here. Uh, get, Morgan's still going to be here. He's actually going on a, uh, a trip before he goes back to college with his buddies to Colorado. He's actually never flown on an airplane before. So it'll be his first airplane flight by himself. And then uh, going to Colorado, get to visit there, come back and go to college, get back into that civil engineering stuff. All right. Do you think that will do it? I think so. People drive up to make deliveries. They see that go, ah, but they want to make a, a they can drop the packages off there. They can back up and then drive out. That's the plan. That's the plan at least. All right, let me go show you something else real quick. I know you want to see some good news, not just bad news. If, whoa, if it weren't for bad luck, I'd have no luck at all. Gloom, despair, agony on me. Woo! Oh, throw mud everywhere. Now the video coming out tomorrow, Sunday, you're, you're really going to enjoy it. That's why I'm going to premiere it. Premiered at 3 o'clock, I believe. Sunday at 3 o'clock. All right, check this out, guys. All right. Normally, Old Blue is under this tarp. Listen, it's raining. Whew, I got that done. I got that done just in time before the rain started. All right, let's look at this. Got my 20-foot trailer here. I got a cobalt wheelbarrow. Anybody have any idea what's under this tarp? Why it's back here and back here? <laughs> it's, it's a pretty cool story. This story here is, oh my goodness. Me and Morgan did a thing. And uh, 
we barely made it home. We barely made it home. We had to stop. That, my friends, is 4,000 pounds of concrete. 80 pound bags, 50, 80 pound bags of concrete. Had to put it under the uh, canopy there and under, I got actually uh, one, two, three, three tarps trying to keep that dry because I do not want all that concrete to get wet because that would be a waste. And it was 4,000 pounds and we barely got it home. Guys, it is raining. Can you see the water droplets coming down? Can you hear it? That means my work here is done. <laughs> Time for me to get inside and uh, cool off a little bit. It is humid, oh my goodness, it's humid. But hopefully we've stopped the uh, trespassers. They're actually trespassers. They're going in an area I don't want them to. We actually have a no trespassing sign on the front, but FedEx delivery drivers and all that, you know, we've got the box for them to put it in. Hopefully I've stopped. I wish I'd done that before because now I got to fix that road. So guys, until next time, I hope everyone has a blessed, blessed day. Keep rambling and go Ridge Life.